I entered Bristol on wheels and tarmac. You were born into it, never came from anywhere else. I'm glad you came. So glad I met you and this city that raised you. Five years ago, you were in school as I sped down south from the horizon skies of Scotland, through three lanes of traffic. And I probably heard you coming. I just didn't know it was you. When mine was focused on only now, it's hard to listen ahead. A faster river than that body that flows through the gorge. I remember green trees and brick houses which to others were homes. I know the ones. The first few months for me were in a construct of familiarity. Did they build you up like Lego? (laughs) That sounds patronising. You were 18, right? No, it's not. Life was plastic bricks masquerading as adulthood. Red squat tower block, families of five plucked from a list of names with no mother or father. Only children. Children trying to feel at home, away from home. All younged up in the bright, hippie city. Stoke Bishop was a village of terrifying newness. Seventies brick concerned only with practicality. Sounds like there wasn't much beauty, except the ripeness in the cheeks of children who had escaped their story before. Maybe they're happier now. Looking at the city through children's eyes ringed with shop-bought maturity. To me, the world was Bristol, and Bristol was university. And I'd say we both got first in the effort we're putting in. Understanding and alighting the idea of winning. So wake up and smell the smoke. I walk around the same places. I know I've been there before, but it feels different, looks different. The angle of my eye I choose to focus becomes a motion of decomposing. Expectations of how I should feel when placing my foot there. On that cobble. Third row down on Cotton Hill. Chips and vinegar on my skirt, walking home when I was 14. Or up Nine Tree Hill at 19, pond route, strained muscle to strain my brain, wasting energy in a down powerhouse in the middle of Cotton. Redland, and further up you get Clifton. Go down the downs to get Ashton Court, we'd go there for walks and... Stretch our eyes out to Somerset, scoop up Hartcliffe from Bristol's bowl and fill our bellies with Bedminster. Rolling hills and escaped leaves, running from their mother trees. We saw the daffodils come Bristol in bloom. We got told off for picking them, but there were loads. Windows and doors descend into pastels. Balamori, eat your heart out. Have you seen the Totterdown houses? Painted with the blush of Bristol's Lady of Leisure, peaches and pinks for a carry and heather. You're home now. Home with Auntie, home with Dad, home with Paps and Nana Meg. This is where peace lingers with cautious stepping and long exhalations. You can sit on a bench and talk to them. Here, the jasmine erodes the stone with honey kisses. The pulse of church flows better in the springtime. Crumbling brick and expanded leaves rest together in eternity. Now my nearest park is this cemetery. There is a peace that permeates the ground that houses the dead. A weight lifted from my shoulders by these stone angels to their eternal softness. Some just find death morbid, but I like the knowledge that I will not last forever. I am one line in the story of this city. I am one line in the story of this city, a city built on multiplicity. I will be buried in numbers like the people before me. Maybe someone will look me out, find me, but I am small and fame holds no glamour over me. This is how a city works. Every life is vital, but no one is needed. Each line is a thread in this tapestry, adding texture. Without you, this image would be a little less richer. You hold others together as they hold you. A willow basket, sticks supporting one another, building something bigger. You, like this city, are minuscule and vast simultaneously. I could focus on your freckles, the orange poppy dancing in the breeze, the rim of gold around your blue irises, the don't forget to love yourself graffiti. The audacity of humanity. Concrete. Heart. Glory. Glory.
Now we run down Nightree Hill, leaning backwards to keep from falling forwards onto traffic jam busyness, sticky with people, alcohol, sugar, restlessness, so sweet and dripping, steaming, smoking, rising from concrete slabs, twitching hands into the sky storm of heaven, Stokes Croft. Standing atop the steepness, laughing with a skull painted on the skeleton of a building, this street is a meeting of the rivers to make the Amazon. So many faces fronting so many stories, lifetimes written in wrinkles, years of emotion etched in laughter lines and creases in brows, eyes that are windows letting light in and out. There is sadness, wildness, desperation, youth and weariness in the cracks in these pavements. So much life and so many variations, I can embrace every person here. So aware of the novels each of these humans contains within them. Libraries of stories, archives of humanity and more being written with every second. Crisp packets, cigarettes, glitter, sequins, sequences of love played out in gruffness and glory. For over two years I work here. Coffee brings the people together. Chatting with faces I see every day. Characters become comrades and smiles go a long way. Standing behind glass with my hands in hot water, watching people in their lives forming a new kind of river. Always flowing. Always going, never the same. Old habits in new habitats, new hands in old love. The air here fits tighter than any glove. Wind that embraces you makes a dance of your hair, the light on your face. Sit still and let the sun pull you from dawn to dusk where the heartbeats of DJs awaken to pump blood into dark rooms and eager limbs. A city of music, rhythms in footfall, the rise and fall of conversation and laughter rippling through the air, sirens screaming of danger and salvation. A city, city breathes, breathes through, through its people. people. I am Bristol. I am Bristol. I will never be able to capture this city. But I inhabit it as it inhabits me. Inhale it as I am the breath in and out of these streets. <laughs>